to because if you go to or a uh, place like Ororama mm. and you go to uh, like the lotion section, mm. it's white. it's all of it, all of it. Mm. There's nothing that doesn't have whitening in it, and that's a problem because that's the cheaper stuff. If that's all you have access to, then that's what you're buying, mm. and so you're bringing it into your house, you're showing it to your kids. Yes, this is this shampoo. I gotta get this placenta whitening bull. <laughs> right? Like, what the <laughs> is that? Kevin Nadal, author, activist, and professor of psychology, explains the goal of Filipinos is to be socially accepted and celebrated, oftentimes without standing up for themselves or being different. In my family, I'm the smallest. Uh, person, okay. Well, I'm the runt, as they call it in in the in the U.S. Bisaya pa ihid. I never went around like, dude, your kid is so fat, man. Yeah, like, yeah, look yeah. at look how chubby. <laughs> like, this it's crazy. Your kid is so chubby. I, know, right? I never say that to anybody because <laughs> I obviously recognize that you know kids are not going to be the same. Mm. They they all look like they're related to me. This looks like my family. I mean, there's tremendous diversity in how we look. But yet, I could see that I could be related to any one of them. The one word that I get the most is unique. And that's what all these people sort of have in common. My dad used to joke and say, oh, you're black Irish, oh, you're black Irish. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> I'm black Irish, so. We have a lot more in common than we have differences. One person is not just one race. There was even a time, I think when the daughter was maybe three years old, uh, when we did start the the soy based formula, uh, my my mother was so concerned that she actually went with us to the pediatrician <laughs> to ask her, which which I actually appreciate that she. There was a time uh, when I was like heavy into jogging and I probably lost a, a few kilos. It wasn't even mm. that much of much of weight, mm. and I was I was uh, people were naniwanka, yeah. naniwanka. I heard that a lot too, like yeah. naniwanka. <laughs> That's a compliment, though. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It didn't seem like it because oh, right. the way the way they were, or maybe, maybe it's too much uh, yeah. according to their uh, perspective. Maybe, maybe, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like I don't really understand. The next question the, would be: Are you on drugs or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's in their mind? When you are heavier set, or you know, even even fat. They'll, they'll be like, Dambu ka ka. Dambu. it's like, damn, are you, when are you going to be satisfied with somebody's size? That's um, particularly at common least. here though, yeah. It's yeah. like every child should be chubby and uh, expected to be big and, you know, looks healthy, like healthy in a way that we perceive what healthy should be. But it usually involves like feeding a lot of sugars and <laughs> all that <laughs> junk food and shit. Everybody got it back in the day. And now, like, not only are they, you can't give anybody any shit. I mean, you're basically preventing them from getting, you know, early onset diabetes with the fat shaming. You really are. It's, that's that's it's, what you're doing. Not, you're, 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 it's not your motivation. It's in a way you're helping them out. And I don't think putting them up on the billboard, cheering them on to continue eating these hostess cupcakes that's is the not, way to go. <laughs> First of all, it has a lot to do with aesthetics or how things or even people look sure even with a collar right you've noticed mm. that i mean we've talked about it before like it has you have to have a sh certain shade of light sure that's another one yeah that's another one that's so <laughs> it's so it's more <laughs> desirable <laughs> here. yeah and that's pretty normal and you see it all over the place again ads and all that yeah. tv you look at the celebrities they're, sm they're mostly light-skinned if you're a young person and you're and you're looking around yourself and y you have that mentality we're like oh you know you you kind of look at someone's armpit and you're like man that that's a dark armpit you should you should really ask yourself why the hell do i well, do i think that way because that is so ridiculous yeah dark armpits i mean come on man. next thing we'll know will be like what whitening our anuses and shit. <laughs> Whatever that fair girl embodies in my head is just someone that's a little better than me. Skin bleaching, also known as skin lightening or whitening, is a global market expected to grow to over $24 billion in the next decade. Advertisements peddling products can be seen across the globe. Asia holds the lion's share of the market, and at the heart of it lies the Philippines. 